it's been a while firstly i want to apologize to all of you for not being or not making videos on a regular basis but my life has changed quite a lot anyway so this is answering um i'm basically this video is to answer a comment from nick mp3 or nic mp3 hey could you please explain how to do the waterfall release for a new single on one rpm I'm kind of lost and haven't been able and haven't been able to do it. So, Nick MP3. My first thing I didn't know about the waterfall technique or the waterfall release technique, and um, after after looking at looking into it, I realized it's just another tactic from DistroKid to make you feel like they have got your back and they are going to help you, so to speak. So waterfall release technique. So what that actually does is that um, you are using your IRSC code, which is your international sound recording code, international standard recording code, sorry. Um, and you're using that and you're manipulating it in a way that it's going to allow you to release the say or release music over and over by using the same code with every new release. What it's doing is that at the end of a year or so of doing these small releases, you get to say that you have released an album and all the songs are populated into your Spotify and so forth. But the problem with this is that it's not a good move because you're manipulating your IR no ISRC code and ISRC code is the international standard recording code it is a global identification system for sound recording and music or video recordings each ISRC code is a unique and permanent identifier for a specific recording which is assigned as its digital fingerprint. So if you're using a certain number to be the identification or the digital fingerprint for a song, therefore by using and manipulating it to release 12 different songs, all you're really going to do is mess up your streaming, your stream count. You're gonna mess up how you get paid because and that is how your song is tracked through the music business every time you are supposed to uh, when you get street what's the purpose of getting a stream or a stream count is to know how many times your song has played which song got played and how much royalties that song has gotten because of streams or sales so if you're going to use the same isrc code on different releases all it's going to do is mess up your accounting and as far as I'm concerned this waterfall strategy or release strategy is just going to mess up your accounting and is going to make getting your money for streams longer than it should because when somebody has to sit down and do up a do paperwork to say how much streams each song got and how much royalties are supposed to get for that release according to that digital fingerprint that release that waterfall release technique is going to just mess it up so that's my take on it so thanks for listening come see me soon peace